Hi, my lovelies. I would like to share with you how to make this Christmas fruit bread loaf. It is so soft, tasty, and easy to make at home. So if you will be interested to know how I made this delicious fruit bread loaf, just stay tuned, don't go away. I'll be right back after the ads. So for this recipe, I will start by preparing the fruits. Here are the ingredients I will be needing for the preparation. I will put the list at the description box below, okay? So do wait to check it out later. So without further delay, let's get started. So in a dry clean bowl, I'm going to pour in the mixed uh, dry fruits. I'm going to add the citronette. Then the candied fruit. So at this point, I'm going to add in the orange zest and the spices. I'm going to add the vanilla extract. Finally, pour in 100 ml of orange juice. I'm going to mix all together and set it aside. So for the dough, I'll be needing 30 grams of brown sugar, one egg, 10 grams of dry yeast, one teaspoon of salt, 120 ml of lukewarm milk, 100 ml of water, 60 grams of melted butter, and 500 grams of bread flour. To the flour, I'm going to add the salt. With my spatula, I mix them well and set it aside. In a clean, dry bowl, I'm going to pour in the milk. And to it, I add the water, one egg, the yeast, the brown sugar, and the melted butter. So I'm going to give it a quick stir. Now turn in the flour mixture. So I'll continue mixing them together. So at this point, I'm going to transfer the dough to the work surface. Now start the kneading process. I'm going to fast forward the video and I'll be right back. Once the dough is soft and elastic, in this clean dry bowl, I'm going to spray in the cooking oil. Then I'll grease the dough, cover it with a plastic wrap, and set it aside to rest for 15 to 20 minutes. So, 20 minutes later, I will uncover the dough. Now, I will continue by adding the fruit mixture. Don't forget, we are making fruit bread. Okay? So, with that being said, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate all of you that are watching this video. And more especially to my returning subscribers, I did not take you for granted for supporting and always watching my videos whenever I upload them, liking them and commenting lovely. May good God bless you. If you're new here to my channel, you are highly welcome. In this kitchen, you will see more of baking, cooking, DIY tutorial, cake decorations, healthy recipes, cooking tips and tricks. So feel comfortable to subscribe to this channel if this something like this interests you don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you will be aware anytime i upload a new video
once i'm done with the kneading i'm going to transfer it to a greased bowl i cover it with a plastic wrap so i'm going to leave it in a warm environment to cool for about 45 minutes then i'll be right back when the bread dough is proofing i'm going to grease the loaf pan with oil with the help of my pastry brush after that i will lay in the baking pepper so once that is done i'll set it aside here i have the dough double in size i'm not going to uncover it transfer it to the work surface at this point i am going to shape the dough here i have the pan just watch me carefully i see how i shape the dough and place it into the loaf pan Now I'm going to transfer it to a warm environment. If your weather is cold, I would advise you to use your oven and put only the light on. Leave it for 20 minutes and that will be done. So for the egg wash, I'll be needing this one egg and about one tablespoon of milk and give it a quick stir. After that, I set it aside. So 20 minutes later, here is the bread dough. It has risen beautifully. I'll go ahead and apply the egg wash. Once I'm done with applying the egg wash to the loaf, I'm going to transfer it to the preheated oven and bake it for 30 to 35 minutes at 160 degrees centigrade. Here, 30 minutes later, here is the bread beautifully baked. I'm going to cover it with butter and leave it for about 5 minutes and I'll flip it over in order to release the bread from the loaf pan. Can you see that? The golden brown. So my dear, try this recipe and you will enjoy your day with your family. My dear, I must tell you, this fruit bread is one of the best. I must tell you, the aroma is heavenly. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you wouldn't mind, tell me where you're watching from in the comment section below and if this is your Christmas bread. Till I see you next time, keep eating healthy and stay safe. Bye for now.